I'm Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a technique exercise. I would say this is more toward like intermediate, encroaching upon advanced um, and it's got a lot of balance that we can work on and it also has rhythmic patterns we can work on and also just evenness of sound while also working on different steps. So I love this technique exercise. I can't wait to bring it to class tonight. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. So it starts with two paradiddles. So this every phrase begins with two paradiddles. One, two, three, four, three. So you have two of those. And now the first set, because it's all variations, the first set is going to be dig, spank, heel, dig, spank, heel, stamp. So you have dig, spank, heel, dig, spank, heel, and then stamp. And when you stamp, make sure you put all your weight on it. So it's one, two, three, four, and four, and Then your left foot will be free, and you can probably guess what happens there. But let's try that. Just on the right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and 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 four. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, and three, and four, and four, and four, Awesome. Let's try it on the left, because that's what happens next. You have two paradiddles, left, right. And then dig, spank, heel, dig, spank, heel, stamp. So that's left foot, and then heel, and then stamp. So let's do right and then left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Number two, it's the same start. And then you have shuffle, heel, shuffle, heel, stamp. Same pattern. It sounds exactly the same. That's dig, spank. That's shuffle. So you got to open those shuffles and keep them even. So that's shuffle, heel, shuffle, heel, stamp. So, paradiddle, paradiddle, shuffle, heel, shuffle, heel, stamp. Five, six, seven, try it. Good, let's try it on the left, because we will go to the left side next. Five, six, seven, eight. So, that's shuffles with the left, heel with the right. One more time left. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So let's put part one and part two together, right and left. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. controlled and so open. Not, you don't want to do it fast. It's five and six and seven. So really this is all about controlling your sounds and controlling your movements. Let's try it. So that was the right side. Now this would be the left side. Left side. right and then left with riffs. Five, six, seven, go. Left. That one's hard, right? One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, and four, 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 and
So let's put those three parts together and then we'll get to the last part. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. repeat one of the other ones because um, it like it slurps so if you're still working on getting slurps that's okay just take like the first second or third and do it again one more time to finish out like a nice round like four bars or four sections so it's two paradiddles like we've been doing now this is the only difference in pattern you're not staying on one foot you've got a slurp Another slurp, stamp, and you really want to break those up. If you don't know slurps, I have a video in the step tutorial playlist, which is linked right down below, that will teach you slurps from the ground up, but just real quick, it's just brush, scuff, heel, but you don't lift your scuff. So toe, heel, drop, toe, heel, drop, toe, heel, drop. So that's what we're doing. It's one inch. So you really need to like control those slurps. It's so hard. So let's do, uh, let's try it on the left real quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. right and then left slurps, then we'll try the whole thing, okay? Five, six, slurps, go, right. Okay, normally I used to edit out all my mistakes. Now I love them as teachable moments. I just made a mistake. Do you guys know what it was? Here, give you a second. So the rhythm of my first slurp was really off. That was my mistake. And rhythm is part of this exercise. It's a huge part of this exercise. So if you find that you're doing that, that's not the correct rhythm. So you go, okay, how do I break that up? How do I focus on making sure that that is even? My problem is I put my weight on my right foot too early, and that's what made the rhythm get messed up. So don't put your weight on your right foot until absolutely time, which is on that last toe of the slurp. Don't put your weight anywhere near that foot until it's time. That was the mistake I made, and I love teaching you guys how to not make the mistakes when I make them. I used to, Again, I used to like edit out all my mistakes. You guys would think I'm perfect, but now I'm like, wait, nobody's perfect, and I can teach you from my mistakes. So that's cool. All right, so let's try the whole thing. Part one, two, three, and four. Ready? And we'll try with some music. All right. Five, six, seven, eight.
that's really cool. <laughs> All right, so actually it's much easier if you go just a little bit faster, so I'm glad that we are. Uh, let's just do it one more time with music, and again, you guys can do it as many times as you want to with music. You can rewind this video, I'll have the, um, the song information down below if you want to try it on your own. But yeah, let's have some fun. One more time. Try to keep it as even as you can, which means keeping your weight in your standing leg when you're supposed to. Jen. <laughs> exercises um, they're such a workout and I'm not even like kidding I am so not warm I filmed this is my second one of the day I am so not warm it is like 7 o'clock in the morning and I just finished a rehearsal at midnight last night so my legs are like we're not ready and I'm like but I need you to be but this exercise warmed me up so much now I'm like considering refilming the first one because <laughs> so I'm like wait I'm actually warm now so this exercise is fantastic. If you're going to bring it to your classes, do it at the beginning of class. And I am telling you this because of how warm I feel, how good I feel in the ankles right now. So yeah, I hope you guys had so much fun with this one. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got technique exercises like this, step tutorials, choreography tutorials, um, vlogs, challenges, everything here for you to become a better tap dancer, free tap dance classes. This is what this channel has, free tap dance classes, and it's all for you. And I love being your YouTube tap teacher, so thank you for coming to class today. But yeah, also hit that thumbs up because that's how other tap dancers find these videos easier. And hit that thumbs up for filming seven hours after a rehearsal. <laughs> I'm insane. Um, also, I just um, I just have no time to film because I'm leaving to go out of town for a week, so I'm trying to get all this done. And so I'm like squeezing filming in in like the most random places. I'm like, it's seven. Alex isn't awake yet, and I don't have to go to work for two hours. Let's film. So uh, I hope you guys had a blast. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.